Hi everyone, I'm Journal Page and I'm using all kinds of scraps. Mostly these are the white backing of paper napkins that I uh, colored with sprays that I have. They are made from gel food coloring and water. And these are the leftovers uh, from other projects. Now it doesn't have to be this, it can be any kind of painty paper or you can take the white backing of paper napkins and use watercolors or water down acrylics whatever i'm just using what i have and i want to start gluing them on my page i think i will stick to these colors for my page i i'm not sure yet but i think that's what i'm going to use now i i don't want any straight edges so what i'm going to do is I'm going to take some water and put some here with a fine brush and just take out pieces from what I have so I can eliminate like the straight lines here so I'm just dipping my brush in and taking out And I'm uh, intentionally not doing a straight line. Not interested in straight or symmetrical. I just want like, a, um, let's say, puddles of paint <laughs> for that matter. So I'm taking just white glue and I'm starting Let's put it here. I'm not going to cover the whole page. I'm just going to put some pieces on that will give me some color in the back and I'm not trying to have it straight. I like the wrinkles it, will, it creates. So again, intentionally, I'm not putting it completely straight So here it is, first piece on here. Let's take another one. Again, just taking out a piece so it won't be straight. Let's see, I don't want this one. And again, just putting some glue I'm trying to be quick about it. Nothing to plan here. Just dropping something that will give me color. Stains of color in the back for that matter. Okay, so let's see. Do I want something? This neon. Let's go for it. If I don't like it, I can cover it. Okay. Another piece. Mm. Let's go here. Overlapping. Again, don't care. It just gives you more variation in the color. This is quite intuitive and just go with the flow. Don't have any <laughs> guidelines. Okay, let's take another piece. This is mostly the same color, so I want to take a piece that will be with at least two colors. It's more interesting. Oops. Okay. Let's see. I have a straight line here, so I want to disguise it. And what I'm going to do is just put down this piece here. 
and no more straight line as I said I'm not going to cover the whole thing but I do want some a little bit more coverage here on the page again taking straight edges off let's see I know it looks like a mess, but that's the start. Just going with it. Okay, just a little bit more. and let's see of course you can just take some paint and make stains on your page but I want to use what I have my all my stashes are just overflowing and I really need to use what I have Okay, so I'm just going to let this dry and then we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back and now I just want, I have gesso here and I just want to go over the edges and kind of uh, blend them into the rest of uh, the page so it won't be harsh. I'm also adding a little bit of water just so it won't be completely opaque when I'm uh, getting inside. Again, this is just so to blur it into the page so it won't be harsh between the pieces that I've glued down and the rest of the page. Just a little bit blending you don't have to i just felt like it was needed just going around with my finger and smearing i can tell you it's so much fun just smearing paint or gesso One of my neighbors is like drilling the wall for about half an hour. I don't know what he has to drill for half an hour. It's driving me crazy. Okay, just a little bit more. When I have little gesso on my finger, then I'm going a little bit in and so it will almost fade into. Best explanation I can give you. But basically I'm just having fun smearing the gesso. If I feel there is place that I don't like I can just go over again with the gesso and cover it okay so I've got this and now I want to uh, do some stenciling add some details to the background and I want to a little bit tone it down so I think I'll pick some a 
light blue and stencil a little bit on this let's see I picked some stencils uh, let's try this one which uh, I'm just going to uh, cut dried the dried part on the makeup sponge and here we go so let's see I'm taking the light blue and just stenciling lightly now the paper napkins created texture so it won't be precise but it doesn't need to be precise it just added detail in the background some interesting pattern and not just puddles of paint another one here I'm kind of spreading it around mm. okay and 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 maybe well I'm taking the gesso with the makeup sponge and just going in a little bit with this stencil again just to give it a little bit more interest than just the puddles or stains that I created with the bits of the paper napkins and I know it still looks like a mess <laughs> <laughs> okay I like it not sure yet where it's going but I like it now more of scraps I've got all kinds of stuff left over from other projects and I need to find some focal point let's see these are just dictionary pages that I scribbled this kind of very whimsical flower I colored it with the watercolor a paint and that's it not sure about it I've got this a uh, butterfly from um, a <laughs> coloring book from a coloring book and let's see maybe I will use it it's just too precise and uh, I don't know for this kind of page so I'm I like it but it seems like it's out of place here maybe I've got these two flowers maybe I'll use them I need to fussy cut them and then I will see if they fit but I think that's what I'm going to use so I'm going to fussy cut them and I'll be back Okay, so decided to go with these two uh, flowers, but before I'm uh, putting them down with glue, I want to add a yellow splatter to go with the flowers. And let's see, let's put some a little bit here. And I'm taking a fan brush with water. Needs to be a little bit watery, so. I will get a nice platter oh yeah I like it of course now I have to wait for it to dry but never mind it will be worth it so i'm going to let this dry and then glue these two flowers and then we'll go for a stem or 
maybe some leaves I have got here in my uh, leftovers. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. I'm back. So, I've got my two flowers and the splatter, of course, is dry. I just wanted more yellow dots, so I just took a Q-tip with a yellow acrylic paint and just dabbed in a few places again randomly. Now I want to uh, draw some stem. I've got three options here. We'll see what will work. I've got an, a gold acrylic pen. This is from the cheap store. I've got Posca pen and I've got yellow. We'll see. So starting with one of them and what kind of stem do I want? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yes, I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. Okay. That looks fine to me. Maybe just a little bit wider towards here just so it would be more noticeable okay now maybe they will work feels like they are a little bit too big let's see if I can do something about it using all my leftovers okay i can live with it so i'm trimming this also and once again some glue okay Almost done. Okay. So now I'm just going to add something here just so it, they won't look like they are floating and I'm going to use this uh, stencil and what color would I take I think I'm going for a dark green let's go with dark green no this is not dark green I've grabbed something else here is the dark green okay you don't have to have this kind of stencil most of the time when I want to do something to ground uh, the image then I will use washi tape or all kinds of uh, leftovers cutouts from painty papers just use what you have and have fun with it that's the main thing let's see little bit more you can pick you know you can put the stencil and pick and see what you have until you're satisfied with what's going on now I'm happy and this is it I'm leaving it as is, I like it, and I used some scraps. 
<laughs> thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.